what's going on guys it's your boy ghost i'm doing a little something different today i just picked up something in the mail on amazon it's supposed to be here tomorrow but came in today you see on the screen i'm on the amazon website and it's a new controller that i'm gonna be using for the switch pretty sure a lot of people probably already heard of this controller but it has its uh mixed reviews negative and positive but I've been looking for another controller for Mario Maker and D-pad on my Pro Controller is just, I don't know, I never liked it, but I've been looking up 8-bit though controllers for a long time and was going to go with the SN30 Pro Plus, the wireless one, but I figure uh, with uh, latency and lag and all of that, getting a wired controller would be better. But here it is right here. I got it for $23.99, but right now it's $24.99. Let's go ahead and uh unbag and unbox this thing. Like I said, it's my first time doing a video like this, so bear with me. Alright, here we go. Nice little prime Amazon bag. Let's go ahead and tear this bad boy open. It's a bag inside of the bag. That's what we got here. Nothing too fancy. This bag is not a toy. As you can see, not a toy. Go ahead and open this one up. All you get in there and here's the box seems a little small I always looked at reviews and it just seems so tiny I have a pretty big man working hands all that Mario maker smashing but just a regular old box let me put it in there like that I can use it for multiple platforms just switch Windows Steam which I just downloaded I'm probably gonna be doing gameplay on that too and a Raspberry Pi. I don't really know what that is, but I'm sure some of y'all do. SN30 Pro USB Gamepad by 8 Bit Doe. Go ahead and open this box. So, other than that, nothing in there. Get rid of that. Pretty much just getting. The controller that focus in. Uh, it's a USB Type A, so you plug into your laptop, your PCs. Cable's pretty long. I think it's about 1.8 meters. Is uh, roughly six feet. At a guess, don't quote me on that. It's a pretty decent decent cable, especially uh you do a lot of PC gaming and your whole setup is close by. I don't know if you use it from the dock from your TV and you try to sit away from your couch, you might wanna go with the wireless one, but this controller looks very, very tiny, tiny in the hand, but it might be good for what it is. I'm gonna test it out and show it in action in Mario Maker, but this was just a quick let me get this trash out of here. 8 bit though, SN30 Pro. To be honest, I'm gonna check it out. I might end up uh sending it back because it is pretty small. <laughs> pretty small for me. Just a quick comparison to the It's about as wide as the Pro Controller, but just not as thick but i'm gonna give it a shot like i said it's pretty tiny sn30 pro plus has the grips on it like like on the uh pro controller or ps4 all of those controllers with the grips but we're gonna check this out and i will bring up another video with an update, 8-bit though, SN30 Pro.
get that to focus in all right what's going on guys i'm using the controller right now uh just uh first impressions it was easy to connect all i had to do was plug it in the side of the switch and it automatically did its thing all you had to do was go here to controllers and unpair the whatever controller you have first and put this one on change the grip order that was it so connecting was pretty easy um i did play one level just to test it out real fast and i gotta say well i already said it the controller is small it's gonna take a while to get used to the size of it like i said it's just as wide as the pro controller when you're holding it it's not as long this way like i said without the grips it's just so small <laughs> i think i can get used to it or i play with it up into a course and i apologize for smacking this gum uh, it's a 0.87 clear rate on this platform level so Let's see how it does. The analog sticks work for me is working better than the than the uh, D pad just because where it's where it's at. Just I don't know. I feel like it's too far up, but okay. but the buttons are pretty responsive, pretty clicky as it's um. I don't know if size aside it does feel good in the hand just wish it was a little bigger <gasps> now I did all that with the analog stick so That's a terrible jump. Mm, that jump sucks too. I haven't quite figured out a good way to hold the hold the controller. And that's just me, that's not the controller. Make sure to edit all this out. Maybe I picked the wrong level to try and uh, test this out. Some of the reviews that I read, it was talking about buttons sticking and I don't have any problems with that yet. Buttons feel actually pretty good. It's just the size of it is it's uncomfortable right now. But very responsive. tricky jump I'm gonna have to toy with the settings because there is a rumble a vibration in it that I forgot to turn off Thanks for playing. That might be a problem. Maybe that was me. Pretty good level. I'm gonna try to play that same level with uh, Pro Control to see if I can do the stage any better. All right, come here to grip. And with with that one, you can with the grips really get a firm grip on it, obviously. But 
That one. I don't know where to put my fingers. <laughs> that aren't pressing the buttons. I do this stage with the pro control. Try using the analog stick right there like I did on the other one. Not working. <laughs> Edit that out. Damn. That's just a hard jump. is me bad timing Definitely feel the difference just because used to playing with the pro controller. This one does definitely feel more responsive. Hear those button clicks. That's the D-pad. These are the X, Y, B, and A. The start and select is off-centered. It's more to the left, closer to the D-pad, but I mean, all in all, controller feels really good as far as responsiveness just like i said the size it takes i'm getting used to if i even keep this one i might just go ahead and get the sn30 pro plus because it does look a little bigger and then it has the grips I feel like it's it's in my hand i'm holding it holding it like this because these fingers are just sitting off the edge Maybe I just need to find a good way to hold it. But anyway, that was just a quick unboxing and my first impressions of using the controller. Of course, if you've been watching my Mario Maker videos. I play a whole lot of Mario Maker. That's pretty much the sole game I'm playing right now. And I'm strictly use the SN30 Pro just to fully test it out. I mean, I got, I think it said 30 days to try and send this thing back if I wanted to. That was just something different, a little unboxing video. Probably won't do too many of them. I should have did one when I built my gaming PC last week. Be doing a uh, gaming setup tour video shortly. I ain't gonna say shortly, but anyway, this your boy Ghost. Thanks for watching, and uh, y'all take care now. Peace.